what's up everybody this is Penn. welcome back to the channel so i have a not a permanent fix but a fix uh that is working uh for the time being so one of the viewers and i apologize um i forgot your name but i will include your comment and your name in the description after the recording of this video but I do remember what you stated, that he looked in the to do forms and I looked as well. And there's been people having issues um, with their to do when it comes to the HDR settings and the display when you're in settings of yours to do. So, you know, I prefer auto where it determines the output based on the file type. So SDR, HDR, or Adobe Vision. Well, when I originally got the device, that was working fine for me. Um, I don't know what happened or whatever, if it's bugs or glitches, but it's no longer working as expected. So I've been trying out these two modes. I knew about these um, in my first impressions and whatnot. The Adobe Vision VS10 engine, where it's gonna output Adobe Vision regardless, and the Adobe Vision low latency. Either of these will work depending on your television. I'm using a TV, I don't have a projector, okay? So what this does is that rather it's SDR content, HDR, or indeed Adobe Vision is always going to output a Adobe Vision file. Now, for some of the purists that's out there, this will be the wrong way to go about it. But Zadu does offer these options and solutions to their customers. I like it because it solves a problem for the time being. They still have to improve on various aspects when it comes to their integration with different, I don't know, soundbars, receivers, things of that nature, you know, AVR equipment. You know, they have some work to do, but this is a step in the right direction. So you notice that my screen is probably brighter, it's more vivid, you know, more colorful, and it has its pros and cons. So this is Home Theater 4.0 on the Zadu Z9 X Pro. I know y'all been seeing it recently added, been adding some content. And now finally, I can enjoy my Zadu again. Um, so I could put back the applications that I need. It's just going to be YouTube and um, TV Mate. So that when I switch to this next month, um, I'm gonna have a seamless experience and I'm gonna have little to no issues. So remember in the previous video, and you sort of have to watch my content in chronological order to get a sense of what I'm trying to do on the channel. So 1917 HDR10 plus. We know that the Doom plays this as play it like nobody's business, regardless of the file type or whatever. I hit play. Shows that Adobe Vision, we, we in business. I mean, that's it. Um, the Adobe Vision, I'm using Cinema Home. Uh, I believe that's the best preset um, on the LG OLEDs for Adobe Vision content. And it is what it is for me. Um, it plays it. SDR, uh, I showcase Naruto. Yeah, I just showed this. You see, uh, a basic file such as this, when set to auto on the previous video, gave me an invalid signal. It did not display. Now that I'm forcing everything in Adobe Vision and the interface is in Adobe Vision as well, it plays. Now, is this the most accurate? No. Are the colors more vivid? Is it more brighter overall? Yes, it, it does pop up more. It does stand out more from a picture accuracy perspective. Um, there will be some loss in detail 
but honestly, um, the higher the bit rate you have, the better the TV panel. You're probably not going to, it's not going to hurt you unless you do a side by side. And really, unless, you know, you just care about that stuff 100%. I care about a good looking picture. And that's what I'm getting from these available options. All right. So, you know me. Um, I just didn't apply this on just one device. So, that's the Zidu. Okay. So, let me switch sources here. Let me go to my Doom. <clears throat> okay. Doom acting a little bit funky. One moment. Perhaps I can show the Apple. All right. I'll figure out what's going on with Dune after this. With Apple, it's going to be real, you know, it's going to be straight to the point. So I want consistency. So the Dune and Zadu are media players, streamers as well. You know, Apple TV, streaming device, certified uh, media player also. So... Right now, I'm rocking the Dune and Apple because the Dune is my latest device, but I'm going to be switching from month to month. So next month, it will be Zadu and Apple. That way, I utilize all of my devices and I keep that rotation going. Um, so I did Dolby Vision here as well. I took off the frame rate matching on Zadu and I did 4K Dolby Vision match content. In order to run Dolby Vision entirely, I have to turn off match dynamic range and I turned off match frame rate. From a purist perspective, this will not be ideal, but I'm just trying to have it match my Zadu on a base level so that I'm getting some consistency across the board when I'm switching between my devices. I'm only doing this because <laughs> Zadu Auto doesn't work as expected. So I figured if I'm going to change one device, I'm going to change all of them. It's not going to ruin my experience. I'm well aware of what Dolby Vision is capable of in terms of a output perspective on a television. Um, this is just a route that I'm going. Now, I'm going to go back to the Doom to see what's going on with that. Okay, it's switched now. That's a good thing. Sometimes it acts finicky. Um, this is on the latest beta software. So the HDMI CEC can be a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit finicky at times. So with Dune, I did the same thing. I uh, went to video. Um, I added the 4K 2160 60 hertz signal. And this is in 12 bit Dolby Vision. Um, STD, so that's different from low latency Dolby Vision, and that's just the default for Doom. I turned off auto frame rate, have auto resolution turned off, HDR and Dolby Vision settings. I have it run the Dolby Vision VS10 engine always, and Doom has their set of options as well. That is different from what you see from Zadu, but gives you the similar or same effect it just depends on what you're looking for. So their option would be Dolby VS10 engine always, but uh, they have quite a few options in there as you see. Dolby Vision output mode, standard TV LED. That's the most accurate way to play Dolby Vision when it comes to your television set. And Zadu picks that by default. Whatever works for you, works for you. As you can see, when I put it on auto, the Doom picks what's best based off of, I guess, science and based off of, you know, accuracy. Um, so this media player is very nice, uh, very nice. And um, so Zadu is running in Dolby Vision, Apple is running in Dolby Vision, and, you know, Doom, all that. All three media players are running the same, so I can get that consistency. And really, this is all because of the do. But, you know, I can find um, 
perhaps, you know, pleasure, you know, viewing this way because it can open me up to some different possibilities, you know, for clientele or some videos down the line. So, um, of course, as you've seen the Mission Impossible and Monster Do, I have it on my Dune as well. There's no way to disband or split up this collection. I might have to just email Dune or request to see if they can put it in like a future beta firmware update. That'd be pretty cool just to have the option to just split all this up so that when I go to my um, by name, I just get all my movies. But you know, uh, this is cool as it is for now. But uh, yeah. So I just wanted to give an update. Um, hope everybody enjoying their day. Um, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Back in business. The dude is back in business. So I don't have to worry about dealing with that crap in valid format or things like that. This is a workaround. I do know it's not perfect, but I'm going to make it work. So and that's that. So until next time, peace out. Thank you for watching.